Hello and welcome to planet Earth, St. Catharines. Today we will be investigating how plant and life develop in a school environment. The first stage of lithosphere succession is colonization. This is where small microorganisms such as bacteria will colonize bare rock. This is a lithosphere. After the bacteria ages and dies, it creates a nutrient-rich primitive substrate which allows for pioneer species such as this yellow lichen here to colonize. Due to it being sheltered in this crack and allowed for moisture to seep through, it is able to thrive in this environment. Did you know not only Spider-Man can cling to falls, but so can lichen and moss and algae? As you see here, this wall has a north-facing aspect, and so it provides perfect shelter for bacteria, moss, algae, and lichen to grow. As you can see, even in the nastiest places of school, life can thrive. As lithosphere succession progresses from lichen, we get the death of the lichen, which creates an even greater, more primitive substrate in the soil. The rich nutrients allows for better organisms such as this small green material here to thrive in this environment. Hey Hannah, did you know ecosystems are everywhere? Really? Yes, even under this very bench, ecosystems such as this green material grow in sheltered areas. Behind you there, trees grow. Isn't that amazing? That really is, Brandon. Even hedges harbour life. As you can see, behind me is a plagioclimax. This means that the area has been mown and tended to by humans to prevent vegetation growth. The area is used for physical stimulation for students. As you can see, ecosystems are everywhere. I hope Planet Earth St. Catharines has inspired you to look around your own school for ecosystems. Remember, wherever you are, ecosystems are near you.